Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about PRAMP. Now, I've talked about PRAMP in the past as one of the best ways that you can prepare for your technical interview, specifically their algorithm section, but they've expanded their site to include other sections such as front end and system design. It's that system design section that I want to focus on today because I really think that this is one way that a candidate can stand out as well as just prepare and get better as a overall software engineer. So let's go ahead and dive into it a little bit. First off, I want to thank Pramp for sponsoring this video. It's always really great when there is a great product that I can get behind and I can support. And, you know, preparing for your technical interviews is the number one way, in my personal opinion, to help you land those high paying roles. And Pramp does an excellent job of setting you up with your peers to practice these items. So if, if you're not totally familiar with Pramp, let's talk a little bit about what Pramp is. So Pramp is a free system where you can get prep, you can pair up with your fellow peers who are volunteering their time to help you practice your algorithms and mock technical interviews, practice some front end and now system design. So that's sort of a high level overview of Pramp. And if you use the link in the description, actually, you'll get unlimited credit so that you can always keep setting up these interviews again and again and again. So let's talk a little bit about system design because system design, I think, is, um, you know, it's, it's sort of a broad statement, but that's sort of the idea, really, when it comes to system design. I personally think system design and architecture is one of the best ways that you can set yourself apart from candidates. And um, it's what, in my personal opinion, goes for me. When you're we're like, what's the difference between a junior, mid, or senior? A mid and senior level engineer, software engineer, they, they have the ability to architect out a solution. They have the ability not only to write code, but write code that is clean, that is e easily extensible, meaning that it leaves options on the table and has great architecture to be expanded upon down the road. That's what good system design is, and that's really what separates a good junior developer from a great senior developer. So let's talk a little bit about how they are going to help you prep with system design. Well, obviously through their platform, but you know, I can say personally that I've probably interviewed at God, like real in-depth interviews, probably about 15 companies. Um, you know, Microsoft does system design questions. Google does system design questions. Amazon does system design questions. This is something that all the large players in the game are going to help you prepare for because it's a, a crucial skill, especially when it comes to object-oriented programming. Be able to set up the proper classes and the hierarchy and inheritance. That requires a, a certain base level understanding of how to architect out a solution. So what you're going to get when you sign up and, and use PRAMP, which again is free, of course, is you're going to have a better understanding of how to really drill down the requirements because if you architect out a solution that doesn't work but is beautiful it doesn't really do anything at the end of the day a software engineer's job is to provide business value and so practicing this and asking the practicing and asking the right questions is part of the process and you know preparing for that so that you don't do it poorly is a great way being practice and being prepared is um, you know, probably the best way to be successful, really, in all honesty. Um, also, you got to pull the trigger, right? Uh, practicing and preparing means nothing if you never pull the actual trigger. So um, it's, a, it's also going to demonstrate your understanding of real-world trade-offs. We live in a, in a world where it's not just software. There's business value that has to be provided. So we have to architect solutions that can provide just that. You know, where sometimes you have to look out for the code because no one else is going to. It's it's up to you. It's your responsibility to continue to propose solutions that it may take an extra day. Sometimes it doesn't, but this is why. And you have to be able to to um, to argue that. And that's sort of that's sort of step three, where you have to be able to justify your architecture. You have to be able to justify your system design and you're going to be challenged on that and and how are you going to adapt that architecture to the new requirements because you know you're usually not building projects and forgetting about it you know we all work in an agile environment that means we're iterative 
I mean, it's really, you know, Project 1.0, but 1.5 or 2.0 is coming down the pipeline. And did your architecture, did your system design set up for that? Did did it? Because those are questions that you're going to have to be able to, to answer in your in your process. So um, I highly encourage you to, to check out their new system. And I think in the future, I might even uh, take a uh, walk through not only the system design, but I think I've already walked us through the algorithm section, which honestly, technical algorithms and the system design, those are the two sections that I would highly recommend you prep for. And then the front end for me, like I'd love to do the front end section just because I'm a front end guy. So maybe I'll do a front end video down the road. But um, uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And thank you for Prant for supporting the channel. It's really cool. I, um, I've actually been using, I've used Prant before they even became a sponsor, which is kind of cool, right? It's, all, it's always dope when like you get sponsors out there. You're like, yo, man, I actually use this. Thanks for reaching out. Um, and so um, at, don't forget to use the link in the description so you can get the hookup on some of those unlimited credits and, so that you can make sure that now and forever you're, you're, you're working your way through. And, um, you know, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. See you guys next video. I appreciate it. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.